Having recovered from the disappointment of the club's Champions League exit, Paris Saint-Germain's German midfielder Julian Draxler is looking ahead now to the rest of the season with renewed ambition. A first French Ligue 1 title is edging ever closer and Yuli is hungry to claim it and he wants to make it one to remember. It was difficult to get back to, to the business, to the Ligue 1, because um, we had uh, yeah, really big goals this season in the Champions League and uh, of course we played a great team, Real Madrid, uh, they are the current champion and a world-class team of course, but what, um, what was so disappointing is that we didn't perform like we can. So we are way better than we showed on the pitch and uh, that's why every, everyone was um, yeah, like shocked and disappointed and uh, of course it's difficult then to get back to, to business in Ligue 1 but uh, we are professional footballers so it's, it's our job to do that and we had to focus uh, on the next game and I think uh, we did that very well. Um, but of course it was not easy to, to forget the game against Real. We have a lot of good games to play and uh, we have, uh, hopefully we have two finals in, in Coupe de France, Coupe de la Ligue and uh, also in Ligue 1 we want to continue, we want to improve ourselves. It would be uh, a good season if we could take uh, all the three trophies in France because last year we didn't manage to, to win the Ligue 1 so it would be my first uh, title in France. Um, championship and uh, that's our goal. We want to do it as, as good and, and with uh, as many points as possible. We want to show to everyone in France and uh, especially to our supporters that the season is not over and they can expect nice football from us in, in Parc de Prince and they, they are always invited to, to come and join us. Repositioned in midfield this season, Julian Draxler has adapted to his new role in the middle of the park and has already provided five assists this term. I feel comfortable, uh, comfortable. I have uh, great teammates next to me with Marco, Adrien, whoever plays there last, Thiago Mota. So um, it was not too difficult to, to, to learn that position. I mean, um, we are all great footballers and we know what we do on the pitch. What I like in the, in the new position is that you, you have a lot of touches on the ball. You touch it like if you play with Marco or Thiago Mota, you can play the triangle and uh, and you touch the ball maybe 80 to 100 times a match, so that's a lot more than, than uh, when you play as a striker. That's what I like. Um, of course, you, you are not, uh, you're not able to score 20 goals a season, maybe because uh, you also have um, to defend well, you have to be in position to help the team. And uh, of course, we have uh, three, four fantastic strikers in front who, who, are, who are always able to score, and that's the, the main thing for them. You know? and, uh, our job is to, to assist them and to help them to score, and uh, that's what I try to do. Kylian is uh, very fast, so sometimes it's a good idea to just uh, bring the ball in in his way and uh, yeah, I think uh, it was also a nice ball from me but uh, Kilian's uh, quickness is incredible so that's why uh, we can find him in, in little spaces like this and uh, he, he scored an important goal. On March 31st in the final of the Coupe de la Ligue against Monaco, Paris have the chance to win a second trophy of the season after the Trophée des Champions. The Coupe de la Ligue brings back good memories for the German. I remember everything. It was a nice atmosphere and uh, we played Monaco. They were really, really strong last year, so uh, it was a big, big match. And um, it was important for us to beat them because they were first in the league and they played a wonderful season. But uh, we showed in that match that we are yeah, at least as strong as them. Um, and even for me it was a special game because I could score one goal and give one assist to Angel. And uh, yeah, in the end, it was a perfect day. You have to show in these matches that you that you have a big team, that we are big players, that we are um, able to decide games like this because we have a lot of quality in the team. And I'm sure that uh, if we play the best football we can, I'm sure we're going to win. Before then, however, Les Rouges et Bleus travel to Nice in week 30 of the Ligue 1 season, a team that caused Paris plenty of problems last term. It's a huge match, and for Julian Draxler, the chance to catch up with his former Wolfsburg teammate Dante. He's a really nice guy. I really like him. Um, he helped me a lot in, in some difficult days in Wolfsburg when I was upset or sad. And he was always there for me. Um, 
and for me he's a fantastic guy, still a, still a very good player. I mean, he won the Champions League with Bayern Munich, he has a lot of experience and uh, I think uh, Nice can be, can be proud to have a player like him and they have a good team. Uh, last year we had some difficulties there, I think we lost it 3-1, we lost the, the championship if you if you remember, and uh, so that's why um, it's not like a revenge, but uh, we want to show that we are able to do it better this time. Subscribe to PSG official YouTube channel here.